Now for some final remarks from Diana on the immunosafety focus group. So we are uh, running quite late, so I'll try to be very, very brief. This is not going to be uh, a scientific presentation, but I just want to, to give you uh, a very short update uh, of the immunosafety focus group. Uh, the immunosafety focus group is uh, uh, a group of interested people that uh, would like to promote uh, uh, studies, immunological studies into uh, the, the, the field of nano safety and this part uh, of uh, the working group to hazard within the nano safety cluster. So the objectives of the immunosafety focus groups uh, are basically two. One, uh, as I already mentioned, is to integrate immunological assessment uh, into nanosafety assessment. And the second one, uh, which is consequent to that, uh, is to propose uh, the adoption of uh, reliable and representative immune-based uh, safety assays uh, into nanosafety regulations. Uh, I will not give you uh, a summary of what are the basic problems in immunosafety testing because we have uh, already uh, gone through all these issues uh, both at the beginning when Albert uh, gave his introduction and uh, uh, by listening to the talks. Uh, but uh, let's go to the practical things. What can we do uh, uh, practically for achieving some results in this field? Uh, encourage basic research. I think this is very important to uh, uh, know how uh, the immune system reacts to uh, danger. Uh, engineered nanoparticles may represent uh, a new scenario for the immune system. Actually, the immune system is used to uh, recognize uh, foreign material, but engineered nanoparticles maybe are not the kind of foreign material that is used to encounter. So this can uh, uh, both give to us basic immunologists uh, additional novel tools for understanding how the immune system works uh, and uh, in parallel uh, give to us uh, immunosafety researchers uh, new information how we can deal uh, with this uh, new kind of uh, uh, alien encounter. Uh, the second thing that we could do is that to implement uh, interdisciplinary networking. This is an uh, uh, ideal stage for that because uh, in this community we have uh, uh, material scientists, toxicologists, uh, we have biologists, uh, we are immunologists, uh, and uh, all together by talking to each other, by understanding each other, we can open uh, a new integrated uh, uh, field of research uh, in uh, uh, immunosafety or nanomaterials that uh, can be of help uh, in uh, introducing new regulation and uh, in uh, implementing safer nanoparticle and nanomaterial design. Uh, the immunosafety focus group has uh, a website. I will not uh, uh, tell you again what are our needs, uh, more basic research, uh, uh, not only human immunity, please do remember that uh, plants and lower animals have an immune system and that uh, a, part, uh, a large part of ecotoxicology uh, also includes uh, the immune reaction of uh, organisms in the environment. We do need reliable assays and uh, we do need uh, more information how to compare the data that we find in the literature, which uh, often cannot be compared because the conditions are different. Uh, uh, the website that is uh, uh, the nanosafety cluster website, uh, look at that uh, working group to hazard and there are all the focus groups uh, including in the hazard uh, group. 
uh, uh, we would like to develop it uh, as an effective communication tool within the community, and this must be strictly linked to the QNANO activities that go in the same direction in a more, uh, maybe, uh, practical way. Uh, we would like to develop it as a discussion forum. Uh, it is important since uh, we have the possibility of doing it uh, to uh, critically evaluate methods uh, and to propose methods and assays that are really representative of what uh, can uh, happen in real life. Uh, database. Database is uh, something very important, otherwise we cannot uh, uh, really uh, exploit the, the, the previous knowledge uh, and uh, by putting it in, uh, in the right framework. Uh, we do not have the intention of building up a new database, but uh, uh, QNANO may have one, JRC has one, Nano ImpactNet has one. We should try to implement and integrate our data within existing databases and uh, uh, trying to harmonize those data with uh, uh, our specific needs uh, in immunosafety. Uh, the, the, the focus group is uh, vaguely led by me and Albert, uh, but we are constantly looking for volunteers who would like to take over some of the activities, uh, propose uh, new ideas, uh, and uh, help us uh, to uh, make uh, our small community really strong and really helpful within the general framework of nanohazard. We are really running short of time, but if somebody has something to say or wants to discuss something, we still can take five minutes, right? Otherwise, go and look at this website. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to thank you all for your participation and attendance, and now let's break for lunch. <laughs>